Today, Holy Week starts. For some, it's just a good breather from work or school. For some, an opportunity to go on a trip to the beach or abroad. And for others, a time to get together with the family. All those things are good, but I pray that we won't miss the heart of the Holy Week to remember and to appreciate the greatest miracle we have ever received, Jesus Christ. Jesus' coming is something that we should all celebrate. If like me years ago, you're probably wondering why we should do that, I pray that our Holy Week Devo would help all of us understand. As we know who Jesus really is and what He has done for us, I believe that it will lead us to the right response. Have you ever been so excited for someone's visit? Probably an OFW family member you haven't seen for years. The whole family usually flocks to the airport for the pickup. Or probably your favorite foreign band or K-pop group. You'd probably prepare banners and wave cardboard cutouts of their faces and raise light sticks to show them how happy you are with their arrival. Well, back then, they didn't have light sticks, but they did have palm leaves. We usually see a lot of people waving these in the air during Palm Sunday. It actually commemorates the celebration of the Jews as they welcome Jesus into the gates of the city of Jerusalem. We're all quite familiar with the story, but here's an interesting thing about it. Do you know that before it even happened, it was already prophesied hundreds of years back in the book of Psalms? Today, I'll be reading from Psalm 118, verses 19 to 26. It says here, Open to me the gates of righteousness that I may enter through them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The righteous shall enter through it. I thank you that you have answered me and have become my salvation. The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Save us, we pray, O Lord. O Lord, we pray, give us success. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. Although not declared, it is believed that King David wrote this psalm as he led the people of Israel to worship God in the temple. Some might think that he was simply writing it from his perspective, but fast forward to the New Testament, we would see that this psalm is actually messianic and prophetic in nature, painting a picture of Jesus' triumphal entry to Jerusalem and declaring what was to come in the person of Christ. Why did the Jews celebrate as they entered the city of David and why should we commemorate and celebrate it today? Well, for the longest time, the Jews have been oppressed by their enemies. But no matter how bad things got, there was always a glimmer of hope as they held on to God's promise that He would send someone, the Messiah, to defend them and to deliver them. They waited and waited and waited for years, for decades, and for centuries. And then they waited some more. Did God forget about us? Did God turn His back on His promise? Did the enemy defeat Him? Doubts, fears, discouragement, anxiety began to fill their hearts. And then Jesus came, proving that God never forgets us, proving that God never turns His back on His word, proving that the enemy can never, ever defeat Him. We celebrate because Jesus is the fulfillment of all of God's promises for us. When Jesus came, He did all sorts of miracles people have never seen before, granting sight to the blind, making the lame walk, cleansing the lepers, multiplying bread, casting out demons, raising people from the dead, and even teaching with such anointing. Upon seeing His power and experiencing all of these things, it became undeniable for the Jews that Jesus was indeed the Savior, the King, that they have been praying for. They probably thought, He is finally here. They were so overjoyed that it led them to declare Psalm 118 upon Jesus. In Matthew 21, 9, it says, And the crowds that went before Him and that followed Him were shouting, Hosanna to the Son of David! Blessed is He who comes in the name of the Lord! Hosanna in the highest! Hosanna means, save us now! But on that day, the cry for help was actually a declaration of praise as deliverance, not just for them, but also for us came in the person of Jesus Christ. Imagine this, a king with that kind of power coming to save you and me. And that's the very reason he came down from heaven to earth. Jesus came to give us salvation. I want to ask you, what are the problems you are facing right now? Jesus' presence is the fulfillment of God's promised victory. 
He is willing and able to save you from everything that you are facing. And He came to give us even more victory, not just over our problems in this world, but also over our biggest problems, sin and death. Truth be told, because of our sins, we should all die and face an eternity of suffering in hell. That is the punishment we all deserve, no exceptions. Left to ourselves, we have no hope. That is why we look to Jesus as our miracle, as our hope. He turned our lives around. When He entered the city of Jerusalem, the Jews thought that He came to defeat the Romans and to establish His physical kingdom here on earth, not knowing that He was after a bigger enemy, death. Jesus claimed victory, not on the battlefield, but on the cross, subjecting himself to death so that he can give us life. And as he conquered sin and death, he now invites all of us to enter his salvation. Jesus is the gate that allows us to go back to the presence of God, restoring our relationship with the Father and assuring us a life of joy and peace for eternity. That is why we praise. That is why we celebrate his coming because Jesus gives us the victory over every challenge, over sin, and over death. Do you want to experience this victory today? Just as the Jews opened the gates and welcomed Jesus to their city, I pray that we open up our hearts and welcome Jesus into our lives. Let's pray. Jesus, we celebrate your coming down from heaven to earth. Jesus, we celebrate your presence in our lives and we celebrate what you have done for us. I pray that this week as we reflect, as we look back at what you have done on the cross, that it would lead us to a greater appreciation of what you have done for us. And my prayer is that it would lead us to live lives of surrender, of worship, so that we may glorify you in every way. Help us to know you more. And again, help us to welcome you into our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining our Holy Week Devo today. We invite all of you to continue reflecting on what Jesus Christ has done for us all throughout the week. I'll be leaving you with these questions that you can ponder on for the rest of the day. As we look at Psalm 118, we see the rest of the story. How God foretold the rejection that Jesus would face and also how he would overcome it. Join us as we continue to reflect on that in the next couple of days. Have a blessed week.